Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, this is Amanda, Amanda Loves Perfume. We talk about all things perfume. Uh, perfume is my probably my favorite thing in the world. Um, so I've done several videos in the past. Um, you guys can subscribe to my channel and hit the notification button if you want to be notified of my videos, or you can just go to my channel and scroll down. But I have done three or four videos on sort of like how I discover perfumes. I have one that YouTube made me buy these fragrances. I smelled them on other people and I had to have them. And then I have a like a love at first sniff where I like smell them somewhere, a department store or something and just like bought it instantly. Um, and today I'm actually gonna do blind buys, my best blind buys. Now, sometimes you're forced to do a blind buy with fragrance just like you are with clothes. If you wanna order something online, you can't try it on obviously, sometimes you have to send it back. The problem with fragrance is a lot of times once you open it and spray it, especially the discount websites, um, they won't let you return it. So um, I've had many, many, many a blind buy that I open sprayed and maybe tried even for a couple days and was just like, no, this is not for me. I have a Mercari account. I will put, um, I, I'm not sure quite how to link it, but I can put the name that it's under and you guys can search. I don't have anything on there for sale right now, but I actually just sold a ton of stuff on there over the last couple weeks. Um, most of them were blind buys that I just didn't like. These are my blind buys that I love. Um, some of them have become like my favorites. Um, the reason I have had to blind buy these is I couldn't test them anywhere or I just didn't feel like driving all the way to the mall and testing it. Um, so I just blind bought it on most of these. I have bought on FragranceNet. Oh my goodness, almost all of them except for one I bought on FragranceNet. So uh, FragranceNet is great. Um, they do not accept returns if you've sprayed the fragrance or even opened the box. So, um, but honestly, it's worth, to me, it's worth that risk because it's just so much less expensive anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started on my blind buys that I love and I will always have in my collection. These are like ones that I just absolutely love. Okay, I'm gonna start with this one back here. This was a blind buy. I think I actually got this one at TJ Maxx. This is Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. This is kind of an iconic fragrance. Um, to be honest, who I kept hearing talk about that, oh, sorry, this is the front. Who I kept hearing talking about this is Beauty Meow. She loves this. So I finally, I saw it at TJ Maxx, so I just grabbed it. I love it. It's a very fresh, zesty, kind of citrusy without really being citrusy. It's to me, it doesn't really smell like green tea. It just smells clean and zesty and fresh. I love this. Um, it doesn't last a ton of time. It lasts okay on me. A couple hours, I don't know, two or three hours, but just throw it in your bag. This is, per I will tell you, this cuts through humidity. I live in Georgia and we have quite a bit of humidity. This cuts through humidity really well. So sometimes at the very end of the summer, that's really all I will wear is like green tea and light blue and a couple other things. This one I've talked about on my channel several times because I just love it. This is JLo Miami Glow. This is definitely, um, this is a soapy fragrance. This to me is not a tropical fragrance and it really doesn't smell like Miami or how I would think Miami was gonna, I thought this was gonna be a beachy fragrance. It's not at all. It's a very clean, fruity scent. I, I say this one smells like a mango soap. Like if you went to Bath and Body Works and bought a um, um, a gel that was like mango soap or mango cotton or mango something. To me, this is what it would smell like. Really nice though. This actually stays on my skin pretty well. This was totally a blind buy. I bought this on fragrance. Note. There's no way to test this. I mean, I, I went to several stores trying to find it. I couldn't find it anywhere. So I had to blind buy it, but I was pretty sure I was going to like it. This is on my video. YouTube made me buy it as well because I had heard so much about this on YouTube that I just was like, there's no way. I had not heard one negative thing. So this was a success. Yay on that one. Okay, this was my, um, this was a blind buy. I actually did not buy this on Fragrance Net. I bought this on um, Max Aroma. Um, they had a 50% off sale of their uh, bond number nine. And I, excuse me, I snagged it. This is Scent of Peace. This is the one that came out after 9-11. This is a very, again, fresh, 
summery, peaceful. This is Lily of the Valley and Blackberry, I believe. Um, blackberry and kind of blueberry. It's a musky, kind of um, fresh, fruity. Um, think of like um, Chanel Chance Uh Think of mm, light blue maybe. Maybe if you mix light blue and Chanel Tendre. Um, it's a wonderful smell. It's a wonderful smell. The longevity on these Bond Number no. Nines are pretty darn good. Um, this has got a, like a little bit of a more a deeper musky base that makes it stay on pretty long. So this was a blind buy that I am so glad that I bought. I had researched that quite a bit and felt like pretty sure I would like it. This one was a blind buy. I got it on Amazon. It was this is Kaleidoscope by Bath and Body Works. This is the perfume. Um, this is a straight up dupe for Glossier U, which I also own. Um, it's not a hundred percent, but it's 98% match. Um, this is not expensive. You can get it on Amazon. Um, it's great to throw in your bag, maybe to freshen. If you're wearing Glossier U, maybe throw this in your bag and freshen up. Um, this is, does not have awesome longevity, obviously. I mean, it's Bath and Body Works, but it's, I don't know couple hours maybe um it's a lighter scent too so it's hard to tell really with the longevity um i think glossier you has better longevity but this is great for like freshening up in your bag this was i knew i would like this because i knew it was a glossier you dupe and glossier you is in my top 10 favorite fragrances of all time okay this was a blind buy as well and this was another tj maxx this is simply pink it's a flanker of the pink sugar this smells really nice, you guys. This is like just the pink cotton candy smell without the vanilla and without kind of that burnt sugar smell that pink sugar has. This is really nice. I have found this quite hard to find. I actually ordered a huge bottle of this on Walmart and it never came. It like gave me the shipping stuff and it just, it just like dropped off and I couldn't trace it or track it or anything and I paid for it. So I don't know. I haven't really figured out what to do about that, but this was a blind buy. Obviously, I couldn't smell it at TG Maxx, but this was, I mean, I've used quite a bit of it. This is wonderful. It smells really, really good. It's a fun fragrance. It's not um, anything like, I mean, it's just a fun daytime fragrance, in my opinion. Okay. So those of you who watch my channel know how much I love the Prada Infusions line. I was able to test several of them in the store, uh, in the Prada store actually. But this one I saw on FragranceNet. This one has been discontinued. This is the Rose. Oh my gosh. So there was no way for me to smell this. Um, but I researched a couple YouTube videos on it and I, I thought I would, I'm pretty sure I like it and I love it. Guys, this kind of smells like um, Philosophy Amazing Grace, but a whole lot better and a whole lot stronger and not as soapy. But it's got that very beautiful, or like the, the Amazing Grace Ballet Rose, but much stronger. This lasts forever on me. It's a very kind of tart, it's gorgeous, you guys. It, this is a beautiful, beautiful rose fragrance, uh, a light rose fragrance. I'm not a huge rose fan. This is beautiful in the summer, but I think you could wear this all year round. This is, um, I could only find it on FragranceNet because I think the rose one has been discontinued. So if you want this, I would hop on FragranceNet and grab it. Um, another blind buy was this one, and I, I like this one. I do. It's not my favorite fragrance in the world, but I would not sell it. I do. I like it enough that I want to wear it. Um, oh, this is beautiful. To me, this is a winter fragrance. So this is Lawn Stomp by Guerlain. It's the EDP. I'd heard, again, I'd heard so much about this fragrance, just all over the place, YouTube, Instagram, reviews, just, I had heard so much about this fragrance. It's a very iconic fragrance. People love it. And there was no way for me to really test this. The Guerlain, it's in Atlanta. I, you can hardly find Guerlain anywhere. You can find the Mon Guerlain and a couple of the exclusive ones, but it's very hard. So I knew I wasn't going to be able to test this. So I blind bought it. It was very inexpensive it was on clearance at fragrance net so this is beautiful it's a honey floral a honey floral it's sophisticated it's a little bit more grown up it's um a little bit more mature to me it smells like um an ex a, an ex 
a, a sophisticated mom, but like of younger or middle aged kids, like middle school. So it's like you're old enough to appreciate nice fragrances, but you're not so old that you're wearing Chanel number no. five. So this is to me is like a mommy fragrance, like a really nice comforting mom fragrance. Okay. So again, for those of you who watch my channel know how much I love Lalique perfumes. I think I'm going to do a Lalique collection video. Um, Amethyst is my absolute favorite, but I have several other that I love. This one was a blind buy. There is no way I would, I could test this anywhere. This is, I think it's Exquise. This is supposed to be the nighttime kind of elixir, elixir version of Amethyst. This is gorgeous, you guys. This is like a little known gem. This is a very sexy liquor, um, deep berries, musk. Um, this is beautiful with like, you know how some of the women's fragrances that are like have a little twinge of that masculine feel at the very bottom of it. This has that. It's clearly feminine, but it's it's got like a it's got like some depth to it and a little bit of like oh it just this is gorgeous, you guys. This is on Fragrance Net. It's the only place I could find it. I think this was actually supposed. It's, it's got a little bit of a middle Middle Eastern flair, but not like because some Middle Eastern fragrances for me are too deep and dark and they have like oud in them and. They just, they give me a headache. They smell wonderful, but this is not that. This is like a twinge of Middle Eastern. It's like, it's like an American and Middle, or I'm sorry, like French, French American with a little bit of Middle Eastern thrown in there. It's gorgeous. I love this one. Okay, another one I blind bought. This was on FragranceNet. I kept hearing about this fragrance from several of the ladies that I watch on YouTube. And just the way they were describing it, they said it smelled like what an angel would smell like. And I was like, oh my goodness. I read the notes. I was like, I'm going to like that. And I do. This is La Mia Perla. Is it La Mia Perla? This is a very, uh, this is vanilla and isoe super and musk. It is a very comforting fragrance. Think of like white musk fragrance but like with a little bit of a twist like add some vanilla and isoe super oh it's beautiful this one lasts really well oh look it says la, la perla right there that's very pretty oh gosh can you see it um this is a nice fragrance i'm gonna wear this in the winter to me this is a winter sweater fragrance this is like cozy on the couch watching a movie when it's super cold outside and like whoever's with you wants to just get closer to you because you're wearing this. This is really nice. Fragrance knit. Pretty inexpensive. Okay, this is Shops Alice by Guerlain. So this was another one that I saw kind of some reviews on YouTube. This is nice. This is like one of those ones though that I can only wear every once in a while. It's very strong. It's a floral. It's a mimosa fragrance. It's a very fluffy it's like a mimosa cloud. It's, this again, I think is gonna smell, even though it's technically kind of a springtime fragrance, this needs to be worn in the winter. It is just too strong and fluffy for to wear in spring, in my opinion. This is a, a floral that you can wear in the winter. It's kind of like this one. It's kind of like the Guerlain's to me, this is just my opinion, are all a little wintry. Like when I think of Mongerlan, when I think of Shalimar, when I think of this one, when I think of Insolence, when I think of this one, they're all, I think because they're very strong. They're strong and they've got some presence to them. They're very sophisticated. To me, it at least needs to be fall or like early, early spring to wear these. Um, so I think I'm gonna wear these in the winter and I think they're gonna be gorgeous with a sweater and a scarf. So Champs will say this is very inexpensive on fragrance net. I have the EDT of this. I would not want the EDP. This thing is a beast. This is beast mode projection and longevity. Okay, another Lalique. This was blind by because I this is nowhere in my from my understanding. This is a Tonka bean 
um, in vanilla fragrance. So this fragrance is interesting. This is definitely a winter fragrance. This reminds me a little bit of Feb Delicious from um, Christian Dior. But it's got also bay leaf in it, so it's got a little bit of like herbal smell in the beginning. And then it goes down to like just a very dry kind of dusty tonka bean. Um, in all honesty, I blind bought this a couple months ago and we went straight into summer. So I haven't really been able to wear this. I've worn it a couple times to bed. It smells really nice. It's, it's lasts a very long time. This is a unisex fragrance, just like Feb Delicious. It's kind of a unisex fragrance because it really just kind of smells like tonka bean. Um, that's what the way this is. This is a very kind of sexy vanilla tonka bean fragrance. I cannot wait to wear this in the winter with a sweater. Oh my gosh, this is another one that's just, winter is my favorite time to wear fragrance. I like wearing fragrance in the summer, but in the summertime, my fragrance doesn't last as long. Um, it's so hot. I just, I don't know. To me, fall and winter and early spring are like my favorite times for fragrance. I honestly sometimes just skip fragrance in the summer total honesty. I should probably stop buying as many summer fragrances because I tend to really wear a lot more fragrances in the winter. Okay, these are my two. Oh, I love these. Love these. Love these. These were both blind buys. Um, I love Alien. And if you guys need to watch my sweet husband, we did a video together where he tested out some of my favorite fragrances. His number one was Alien. His top four were Versace, Eros Parfum, Chanel Chanson Tendre, um, uh, oh my goodness, I can't remember the other one. Um, but anyway, there was a, uh, there was a third one and then his very, very favorite was Alien, just the original Alien EDP, um, which I was surprised. I, I, but he loved it. He just like had a really, really good reaction. If you guys want to watch that video, it's um, the one I just uploaded after this one, below this one. It is the cutest thing. My husband did a really good job. Um, but anyway, yes. So I had researched these. I had read about them. I had watched several YouTube videos on them. I was pretty sure because I like Alien so much. And I so, I mean, really any Alien flanker is probably going to work for me. Except for maybe like the Oud one. And then there's like the Alien Essence that I'm not quite quite sure I would like, but these were both supposed to be sort of like lighter, springy, summery. This one's very summery because it ha has a lot of citrus. And this one's a little bit more just like all year round alien. Um, they're both gorgeous. I think they smell different enough that you could have both, but you really probably don't need both. If I was going to buy one of these, I would buy this one because it's just it's just a beautiful version of Alien. It's all year round. I mean, you could strong enough to wear in the winter, but still okay to wear in the summer. I mean, it's just a beautiful, and who, guys, this bottle, this is my favorite Alien bottle. I mean, this one's really, really pretty too, because it's just clear and the juice is really pretty, but this is my favorite, like, this ombre, and it really is ombre, like, it, it, it's not just white at the bottom, it bleeds up really nicely. So these are both blind buys. I absolutely love them. You can see I've used some, and these I just kind of got not too long ago. So these were successful blind buys. So the suggestion for blind buys, blind buys, would be to go to Fragrantica, and not necessarily the, the description's great, but I read the reviews because they're pretty straight up. I mean, I, I can't tell you how many times I've known I would like a perfume or I've known I would not. Fragrantica is great. And then just go in the search engine of YouTube and put in the perfume. You're going to find reviews and they usually are extremely helpful. I don't think I bought any of these without at least research thing, except for the TJ Maxx ones uh, that I just like grabbed because, you know, I was there. So anyway, let me know what your favorite blind buy fragrances have been. I have some that were absolute disasters. Probably as many as I have here. I didn't count them, but I probably have as many that I bought that I didn't like that I sold. Um, so let me know what your experience has been with blind buys. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes you cannot get around it. You just, you have to blind buy them. There's nowhere to, I mean, department stores only carry so many fragrances and you know, a lot of these, um, you can go to fragrance net. A lot of the ones that have already been discontinued, they still have a ton of it. So you can still get it. Um, so anyway, let me know. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and let me know, subscribe to my channel and leave me a comment. Do you want to 
what I actually do want you guys to comment what else would you like to hear about with fragrances um, more collections more individual reviews um, I could I love individual reviews so I could certainly do those let me know what fragrances you would like to hear about that you you know that I own um, so anyway have a great afternoon and I will see you guys in the next video